Is the so-called Kennedy curse a collection of cruel coincidences or a truly tragic hex looming large over America's greatest political dynasty? After learning what happened to JFK's kids, you might start to believe in the latter. The Kennedy family has had its fair share of misfortune. Most famously, John F. Kennedy, the 35th U.S. president, was assassinated in Dallas, Texas in 1963. Kennedy married First Lady Jackie Kennedy, born Jacqueline Bouvier 10 years earlier, and the couple had four children together. Among them, only one, their second child, Caroline Kennedy, lives on, avoiding the Kennedy family curse, which took numerous other family members. JFK and Jackie's first child, Arabella, was stillborn, according to Irish Central. In 1956, shortly before Arabella was due, Jackie was rushed to a Rhode Island hospital, near where she was staying at the time with her mother and stepfather, according to the New York Times. Medical staff did what they could, but the baby, never officially named, was stillborn via cesarean. The name Arabella never appeared on any documents or on a birth certificate, and the stillborn child's gravestone next to her father at Arlington National Cemetery simply reads, Daughter. It's written that Jackie later referred to the child by the name, but it's unclear if Jack ever used the name Arabella for his stillborn daughter. After her first miscarriage, Jackie was informed all further pregnancies would likely be difficult for her, JFK advisor Ken O'Donnell, who was close with the couple later said, quoted by the Huffington Post. By 1957, Jackie was pregnant once more, but this time there was a much happier ending for the young couple. Caroline Bouvier Kennedy, the only living child of John and Jackie Kennedy, was born in 1957. Biographer Stephen Livingston writes that the healthy birth of JFK's first daughter, Caroline, inspired a newfound sense of duty and responsibility in the Massachusetts senator at the time. Caroline was three years old when her father became president and six years old when he died. And although she has yet to run for elected office, Caroline has followed her family's legacy into politics. Caroline graduated from Radcliffe College in 1980 and Columbia University in 1988. A lawyer and author, she married Edwin Arthur Schlossberg in 1986 and served as U.S. Ambassador to Japan and, more recently, U.S. Ambassador to Australia. In 2008, she formally endorsed Barack Obama for president, maintaining the Kennedy family's influence on the Democratic Party via CNN. In a video created for the JFK Library, Caroline referred to her famous father when she said, I've thought about him and missed him every day of my life. But growing up without him was made easier thanks to all the people who kept him in their hearts. After the birth of Caroline Bouvier Kennedy, John and Jackie had a son, John F. Kennedy Jr., while his father was president-elect in 1960. As a small child known as John John, he was photographed saluting his father's funeral procession in 1963. Although JFK Jr. survived childhood and lived into adulthood, the Kennedy family curse caught up with him when he and his wife, Carolyn Bissett Kennedy, and her sister, Lauren Bissett, died in a plane wreck on their way to Martha's Vineyard. Before he died, JFK Jr. graduated from Brown University and New York University Law School. He worked as an assistant district attorney before shifting his focus to publishing, founding the now-defunct George Magazine in 1995. Handsome and charismatic, he also tried his hand at acting, and in 1988, People magazine named him Sexiest Man Alive. In an interview just a few years before he died, JFK Jr. reflected on his famous last name. He admitted, It's hard for me to talk about a legacy or a mystique. It's my family. The fact that there have been difficulties and hardships or obstacles makes us closer. The final child of John F. and Jackie Kennedy, Patrick Bouvier Kennedy, was born in 1963, the same year his father was shot and killed in Dallas, Texas. Reportedly, he was born with respiratory distress syndrome, or RDS, which causes breathing issues in newborn children. Today, RDS is highly treatable, but it was less so in 1963. Patrick, who lived just 39 hours, was at first buried in Brookline, Massachusetts, the New York Times reported in 1963. Today, he is buried alongside his mother and father and stillborn sister Arabella at Arlington National Cemetery. According to Vanity Fair, a clearly distraught JFK said of his son's passing, he put up quite a fight. He was a beautiful baby. Mimi Beardsley, an intern with whom JFK had been romantically intimate, later said that Patrick's death filled Kennedy, quote, not only with grief, but with an aggrieved sense of responsibility to his wife and family.